The Scottish Government says the journey from oil and gas to renewable energy should be an economic opportunity. But businesses at the forefront of making that happen say more investment is needed. This week, STV News has been looking at the challenges of reaching net zero by 2045. Tonight, Brandon Cook looks at the role technology and innovation will play if the country is ever to get there. Across the energy industry, companies and entrepreneurs are working towards a common goal, net zero by 2045. A target the First Minister this week insisted is both an environmental necessity and a massive economic opportunity. In recent years, improvements have been made, but still we're a long way from hitting that ambitious target. It's going to take rapid innovation of new technologies and a whole new way of thinking if we're going to get there. You know, we all want a cleaner uh, North Sea, um, but you know, it's going to take money and investment to do so. If we had the solutions we needed right now to get to net zero, we would do it. We have a number of solutions that be can be deployed now, but they're not perfect as they are. At the moment, just a fraction of our energy needs are met by renewables. Nearly 80% still comes from oil and gas. It's widely accepted the move from fossil fuels will ramp up existing green technology, wind, solar and now wave energy. Innovations to harness all of Scotland's natural resources are popping up everywhere. You obviously only get solar when the sun's shining, wind power when the wind's blowing, but uh, you don't solve that challenge by adding more solar, more wind. And so what we need are a variety of types of energy. It's our vision that wave energy could provide about 3% of our electricity need by 2050. And so that might not sound like a lot, but 3% of uh, a huge market is, is a huge impact. So that will potentially save hundreds of millions of tons of CO2. But reaching net zero isn't solely down to new forms of energy. It's also about improving the ones we already have. This company in Aberdeen have completely reimagined the way offshore wind farms are inspected. Instead of physically going offshore in large diesel guzzling ships, their world first technology allows a team onshore to operate a small electric boat and robot in the North Sea. It's particularly beneficial from a sustainability point of view. We're also able to remove people from harm's way, so we no longer have to send people a long way from their, their loved ones, from their family and friends. They can remain at home, they can live and work in a normal uh, work-life balance, um, and they don't have to be exposed to that harsh offshore environment as they would on a traditional vessel. These types of innovations have the potential to completely transform parts of industry and bring economic rewards. But such advances in technology require years of research and development. Startup companies like Air Control Entech use drones to inspect offshore rigs. They say while ideas are the spark, a willingness to pursue and crucially money to back it are essential. There's not enough support for small companies um, to be able to to basically research and develop uh, new technologies. I'd quite like to see uh, a funding body which would maybe utilise some of the profits from uh, the windfall taxes to be regenerated into creating technology to support a, a greener operation in the North Sea. Of course, the advancement of technology does have its disadvantages. Some fear boosting tech could have an impact on jobs, but experts say it's more likely to open up new opportunities. For me, it's an opportunity for people to, to grasp and really use that to bolster the, the real heritage and richness of energy skills and knowledge that they already have and use some of the digital technologies, whether that's artificial intelligence or digitally enabled systems and sensors, to enhance what we have rather than it be seen as a competition. Just over two decades separate Scotland's net zero deadline from where we are now. New ideas and innovation of existing technology will be crucial in getting there. Its impact on jobs is still to be fully realised. But amongst government, there's confidence success could reap economic growth and environmental security. Brandon Cook, STV News.